what is going on wednesday people what is up everybody hope you're all having a fantastic week so far and let me tell you something if you're not we're halfway done keep that in mind we're gonna get through this you me us we we're gonna do it vdk photos retired orion parrot of c lovely to see you all hope you're doing fantastically Got the painting done, my guy. Glad to hear it. 100%, my dude. 110 poor chant. Okay, we've got to go ahead and kit this rig on out. I believe we filled the galley before we said goodbye on Monday evening. Let's make sure. Yes, we have. Very good. So we have to buy, oh, just about everything. Still a piece of garbage. God, I love that. Thank you, V. It's such a... Wonderful little ditty. I don't know. There's just something about it that brings me joy. I, I can't explain it. Uh, looks like the gun's basically full. We don't have to worry about the gun. Okay. Skipper, come here. Come here. Yes, a vacation may be in order. Uh, the morale is very low because I starved the crew near death. I unfortunately uh, managed to run out of food. We're going to take a couple of those things right off the hop. We need more coffee. That's a necessity for me. All right. Let's see what we can do. I'd like to get decent torpedoes if at all possible because it's getting rough out there, people. Flak. We're doing okay on flak. Um, I'd love to have more AP, but that's not super necessary right now. Uh, Food. We want as much free food as we can jam into this thing. Because uh, in, in UB... What is this? Eggs! Real eggs! Look at that! That's cool. I like it. Okay. A little more bully beef. Get that jammed in there. Um, Equipment-wise, we're okay. Nothing like open sea cannibalism. There you go, my guy. We aim to please. We aim to please. Put that there. Let's move this to here, just because I don't like the way it looks. Oh, that's going to have to do it for that. Now, turpidus. We need better turpidus. I am running into entirely too many duds in this playthrough. So let's aim for the free ones first. Um, this one's got an updated trigger, so that's helpful. After that, we're paying through the nose, people, and that's the way it's going to be. All right, T1 with an upgraded trigger. Same here. Um, same there, there, yeah, we need everything, everything, okay, this is getting expensive, let's throw a T2 in the rear, um, looks like we're stuck with, no, oh, this one's, no, I've already taken that one, okay, well, one, two, three, and we've got to revisit the torpedo situation here momentarily, one day off duty. Why buy eggs? Nobody can cook them, right? It's 100%. Yeah, I'm working on that there, uh, John Morris. I am. Randy, what's going on, my guy? Okay. Um, That's weird. Thought I clicked that already. Good day, Slipper. I like it. I think I'm going to go with it. Let's go with Slipper from now on, shall we? When I'm doing something uh, rash, you can call me a crook. <laughs> uh, it's so dumb. Anyway... Um, T2 with a better trigger here, T1, good trigger, T2, good trigger. Hmm, this is getting costly. T2, good trigger. Yeesh, okay, well, it is what it is. It is what it is, everybody. Burning eggs is a special delicacy. You're not wrong. By the way, everybody, if you head on down below your stream, you'll get a link to the Salted Store in which you can get your own wonderful magical sticker commemorating the burning of the eggs. Costco bourbon. There you go, my guy. Here in Canada, uh, the only people who are allowed to sell uh, liquors are by a very special appointment, most of them being federal. Our Costco does not sell bourbon. I wish it did. That would be uh, handy, I think. Okay, we need to get a vacation in. That's 100% a thing we got to do. Let's go talk to this dude. Didn't we? No, we didn't lose a guy. That's okay. I thought we had lost a guy, but we did not. Let's talk to this guy then. Vacation, please. Uh, we've only got two available. Discipline penalties, penalties reset. 
loving me some Bavaria. Let's do it. Let's let's go to Bavaria. We will drink some steins. Any research? No, I don't have enough uh, crew to uh, to spare at the moment, unfortunately. I could have taken them off the boat, but everybody's carrying things, and when you take them off the boat, they drop all the gear they were carrying, plus you have to reset their schedules, plus you have to reset, sometimes you have to reset their priorities. So until I get spare officers, I don't bother with research because it's too much of a pain in the A's. All our eggs are belong to us. I have no new samurai. Everything I know is can be found on the Steam page. I have zero additional intel. P neither Playway nor um, Deepwater Studios have ever contacted me in any way. That's correct, V. Uh, here in the province I live in, which is Nova Scotia, the only places to buy any kind of booze, be it beer, liquor, wines, etc., are in the Nova Scotia Liquor Commission, which is a federally run um, company, essentially, and they, they are the only ones who are allowed to sell booze. Um, there are boutique shops that are allowed. We have one, one type here in the city called um, Harvest Wines and Spirits. And breweries themselves are allowed to sell uh, liquor, but grocery stores, no. Corner stores, no. Gas stations, no. Nothing like that. <clears throat> um, that's right, KJ, 100%, my guy. Most liquor stores are operated by the state. That makes sense. But I get enough salt, I want to be the navigator. I can tell all the crew where to go and how to get there. I like it, my guy. Any things to do in this game that I can do when I get bored in this game? Absolutely. You can uh, set yourself limitations. Well, okay. First and foremost, the easiest thing to do in this game is to unlock... Um, Unlock, is it even in this? Free roam. So free roam here, you never have to take orders again. You can just go where you want, do what you want, okay? Um, the other thing you can do in this game is set yourself uh, limitations. Say, uh, eyeballing AOB only. No using, uh, like, actual angles. Um, there's a mod called Real Navigation, in which you cannot see, you, you, you dial like a compass to steer yourself. Um, it also removes all contacts from the map, so you won't actually be able to use the map to pick out your um, your targets. There's all kinds of things you can do. Play first person only, um, only use the TDC mod, etc., etc. Special liquor stores like the olden days in Sweden. Well, they're the, they're the now-ish days here, unfortunately. You invented binge drinking. I mean, maybe, I don't know, because beer's been around for 5,000 years or so, so I'm just saying. Uh, yes, John Morris, I lived in Alberta for quite some time. I was actually born in Alberta. Um, yeah, I, I do miss that. I miss stores having sales. I miss that quite a bit. Um, need to either make the cabinet bigger or make rebreathers storable in storage. Well, how many rebreathers do you want to carry? What's a binge drinking? Sorry, Samurai, if you don't know, I can't help you, my guy. Okay, we're back. Let's make sure the boat's fully kitted. Um, good there. Let's make sure we take as much free food as we possibly can. Just cram it full. I mean, we should be okay. Maybe a little more ammo might be good. Let's take some more ammo. All right, we just spent 10 grand, by the way. Just saying, 10 Gs is what we spent on this single uh, reload, essentially. <coughs> I'm not main English speaker having... Oh, it, essentially it's drinking, like, drinking excessively all in one sitting. That's what binge drinking is. Um, yes, it's exactly like binge watching, just drinking excessively all in a very short time. 100% there, Samurai. That's the one. Okay. It's not bilge drinking. Oh, God, that sounds horrible. That gives me a gross feeling inside. Thank you. Okay. I think we need them to tell us where to go, because, you know, we can't decide those things for ourselves. Wow. Wow. Way the hell out in the middle of nowhere. Assault of British shipping. Number one of three. I really want to... Earn some officers. That'd be great. Whoa, I'm not going to the Med. Are you insane? Gibraltar. Oh, the Kriegsmarine official. I hate that. 
All right, we're going up to the AM sectors again. Um, medium amount of vessels. Okay, that's not terrible. All right, let's go with that. We'll go with a medium amount of vessels. All right, let's throw in a save here. I remembered to save. I remembered to save. All the officers lose their rebreathers when you send them on vacation. Well, they don't lose them. They go back into the cabinet. But you see, I don't give a rebreather to each and every officer, right? I give them only to my mechanics, so. Uh, pretty much there, Elf. Pretty much, my guy. All right, we are saving this UBE game. Now we're going to kick tires, light fires, and generally get this thing a-going. Something I've learned about the UBE game is that the steering does not steer so much. Um, where's my boat? There it is. So you've got to steer yourself, like, way back in the day, essentially. Just like back in the long, long ago, you got to steer yourself. <laughs> What's that for, V? What you all about there, my guy? Not that I don't uh, love the tune. It's just, unfortunately, and I'm, please don't stop ever using them. I would take them away if I didn't want you to use them. Um, whenever I upload this stuff to YouTube, the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get an alert saying, hey, hey, you're not allowed, what is, what is happening right now? What is, okay, okay. Let's get out of port. Let's get out of port. Ah, going back to war. Get, go steer yourself. I like it. There you go, KJ. I'm doing my best, my guy. Yeah, last time. Oh. Did I click something by accident? Okay. Okay. I'm not playing that game. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. No. Absolutely not. Oh, I just almost smashed us into the wall. Oh my god, I don't need this. I don't need this in my life. Ch Why aren't you laying a course? What's going on here? I'm getting some kind of weird little bug where it won't put the line down for some reason. Too sharp a turn. There you go, my guy. You just play that song till boredom. That makes sense, man. 100%. My officers came back. What they had was gone. Oh, sounds to me like you're using mods, my guy. Mods, playing with mods is very much like playing with fire. If you introduce a mod into a game, you are gambling. That is 100% a thing that you're doing. What are you doing, game? Oh, my sweet babies. Okay. Ugh, I didn't like that. I didn't like what was going on there. I don't need this in my life. Uh, anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. Where are your... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I forgot to get medicine kits. First aid kits, that is. That's not good. <clears throat> Too many schnapps, my guy, 100%. Right, hard rudder. Too many schnappes. All right, I was hoping we'd catch sight of, sight of something here in BF1, which we still might. Um, it's a crapshoot either way. Ah, god damn it, I need another officer. Stupid navigate. You know what I ought to do? Hang on, can we... Let's just change it a little bit. Maybe... Maybe... Tasks. This. Let's do... Eights here. Maybe they'll prioritize navigation. Unlikely, however. Unlikely. You see, it's not just about the priority you set. It's also what is most efficient for the crew to be doing. And that gets irritating as all hell. I wonder if he'll jump back on that or not. He will not. Okay, how low does it have to get before they'll jump on it by, by themselves, I wonder. Down to 20%. So 20% they'll take over. Um... Most bugs regarding positions and pathfinding are much better if you're not on the max time speed. Correct. Normally, yes. Yeah. 1800. Um, yes, and that's fine. However, this journey at times 1800 speed would have taken something to the tune of seven to eight minutes in real time. And I don't want you guys staring at nothing that long. I'm trying to do my best to entertain. Locksmith school. No value. 
Oh, there you go, my guy. I like it. That's a karma. That's a karma thing. We're going to go to where the shipping was the last time around. And I need to call in to mommy and daddy and say we've made it to our sandbox. And we're all safe and sound. And we're going to we're going to look for boats. That's what we're going to do. You 101. I got to finish setting this report first. Whole lot of empty water, not gonna lie. Um, Scarlet. Scarlet. Kink. Scarlet Kinkajou, one. Thanks very kindly for letting me know. Appreciate it. You 101 would like to tell us something. Topolzan. Topolzan. I don't know how to pronounce that. Does anybody know how to pronounce that properly? Convoy in sight, AM515. Really? Confirm. Hang on. Where's... Are, we're close? Hmm... I wouldn't say we're close. We're probably gonna have to give that one a pass for now. Uh, BDU report as of the 9th, or possibly 10th, depending on how they're setting up their days. I don't know. Um... U57 is lost. She was sank. Uh... Accidental collision with a Norwegian steamship Rona. Sorry, boys. Heading for Davy Jones. Another message. Holy crap. U-101. Um, they're heading west. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, they want us to intercept uh, what 101 called in, but it's uh, apparently warships, and they're heading west, and I'm not going to be heading west, so yeah. Instead of sending me to locksmith school, with some of the three operation specialists once damage control. Oh my god, there you go, my guy. I like it. I like it. At least we know where the warships are, or at least some of the warships. That's good to know. Cut through this way. Um, do you know what? We're gonna do a dip here, actually. We'll have a little dip, see if we can find something. See if there's something to find. Uh, let's see now. Samurai would like a salty fact. Samurai, um, I've got two more working days before I get a week of vacation. You'll notice down here in the uh, uh, bottom left corner, we're going to go visit family. Me and all the, the, the little ones and the missus, we're going to go up and visit my folks and my sister and my grandmother. And I have more family up there too, but, you know, primarily... Primarily, you tend to uh, stick with the, the, the chosen few, let's say, right? The chosen few. By the way, everybody, I hope the volume of my mic is uh, sufficient. Let me know if it is not, or if there's any kind of crackle or echo, etc. Because I will not know until I watch the VOD back. Ooh, an 18 to 41. Heading the wrong way for me. Heading the wrong way. I don't want to get engaged with something that's leaving, that's going to be out of the sector before before I engage with it. Because, quite simply, I don't want to be taken out of the sector until I've got my uh, kilometers. No, There will be no streaming next week, no. Well, no, there will be a stream on Tuesday, but not on Thursday. Tuesday, but not Thursday. Hoping for a week of... Oh, wouldn't that be something? Crystal clear, sounded good. Thank you very kindly, folks. Appreciate it. Tanks very kindly and all that. I'm going to get right into the middle of these dots here, and then we'll do the same thing. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Who is handing out all these subs? Who's doing that? It won't tell me who. Please, someone tell me who's handing out those subs. Uh, Gigman, Redshift Studio... Inaz, Matt was Dev, Cannon Fodder, Side Seab Heron, sorry, Trith72, Roly, my guy, Caesar Roger, Troubleshoot It, What's Up, Numlock, Vimicad, Stigmatico, Good Old Red, Matt Man, Canadian, uh, Zegabor, Robestos, White Shoot, John Morris, Good Lord, Samurai, 20 subs, Samurai, 
Wow, dude. Thank you so much, my guy. Honestly, thank you so, so much. You have no idea what that means to me. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you get an opportunity, thank S Samurai for his unbelievably generous gift of 20 subs to this channel. 20 subs. The largest gift this channel has ever received at one time. Thank you so very much, Samurai. I really do appreciate it. I really, really do appreciate it, my guy. I do. All right. Um, didn't I say I was hunting? Did I already hunt? Maybe I did. I got sidetracked because of the generosity. The generosity is strong. It's a wonderful, beautiful thing, and I thank you for it. I get tongue-tied when, uh, when people, uh, gift or donate and stuff. Like, I just, like, how many ways can you say thank you? You know what I mean? Like, it, it just, I don't know. I get all... I don't know what to say. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I used to have the same problem um, for many years, because of course I've been in the military for quite some time now. And, um, you know, every now and again, just every now and again, you'll get the odd individual, if say you're stopping at the grocery store or for gas or something on the way home, they'll say, thank you for your service. And it holds a special place in my heart, right? And for the longest time, I used to just stutter or, or just say thank you or, no problem, which sounds ridiculous. Um, until I, I, I found the, the optimal saying. And what I found that to be was, thank you for your support. So they would say, thank you for your service, and I'd say, thank you for your support. And they seemed to get the same feeling I did when they would say the first part to me. And that, I think, is a wonderful thing. I really do. Appreciate it, Samurai. I'm glad you like the stuff, my guy. I really am. I don't know what to do with my hands. Just say thank you back. I hear you, my dude. I hear you. But I know. It just sounds like there should be more. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to head up through this wise, because assuming there's going to be traffic coming up through this way. One assumes. I think so, too. Go ahead, feet. Go ahead, my guy. Steal away. Steal away. I enjoy it, and I think the, the person receiving... That message from me also enjoys it. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a little give and take. It works out. Uh, it's nice. I think it's nice. All right. With any luck, we're actually going to find something that uh, we can shoot at for a change, as opposed to things that are leaving us. We going to do this, boys? Uh, oh, wow. That took a while. Okay. Two to four. Way up north. Likely going to be warships, but that's okay. We're going to go take a look. We're going to go take a look anyway. It's possible they're not warships, so we're going to go say howdy. We're going to go say hello. That's the kind of thing that we're going to do. Whoa, everything just locked up for a second. Don't like that. Didn't like that very much. Nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Um, yes, we do still have a sight circle. So the boys are doing their jobs, which is a bonus. Okay, I think we're going to be close to where I think they're going to be. So let's have a quick scan. Maybe we'll catch a little puff of smoke here on the horizon somewhere. It's possible. Not the most likely scenario, but sometimes you get lucky. Because for whatever reason, your sight far exceeds the sight that the game has. I'm not really sure why. Um, okay, what do you say we slow down a bit? We'll uh, dip the boat under to periscope depth, and then we'll uh, see if we can find what we've been tracking here, this 2 to 4. <clears throat> How's the current release of the game as far as bugs or glitches? Honestly, it's not bad. If you just play vanilla, um, not I haven't found any game breakers in vanilla. No game breakers. There, can, there's some things that are annoying, yes, but no actual game breakers, so that's definitely a bonus. Um, if you choose to play with mods, you're playing with fire. I I can pretty much guarantee you, you will run into the odd glitch with mods installed. The game doesn't really play well with them. And I know some brilliantly ta talented uh, modders. In fact, the, the main mod I'm using right here, uh, U-Boat Expanded, was made by a person that's in my Discord, uh, Link. Um, makes, uh, makes, makes UBE, and it's beautiful, wonderful. see a master smoke over the horizon visually yes that's really annoying i agree i don't particularly care for it at all myself i think it's a, a little bit of an oversight whoa 
Hmm. They went a lot faster than they should have. I don't know if I like that idea. Anyway, we're going to come to the surface and see if we can track this down. Not sure how I feel about it. Um, because whatever we're tracking is moving at a pretty significant speed. It's maybe not a great idea. But, hey, what are you going to do? Let's bring the boat up, gentlemen. Let's get this party started. Gonna track these guys down. Track them down, my guy. Track them down, my dude. Moving at speed five, so we should catch them rapidly. Unless they're warships that are going faster than we are. La 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 la. La la. Uh, thanks, KJ, for throwing up the Discord bat signal. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. It should be out in front of me somewhere. Then again, if it is a war uh, patrol, which I believe it to be, they could have zigzagged off into any damn position. Uh-huh. Okay. It's behind me now. Approximately 200 degrees. 205. Hmm. Spin us about. Spin us about. Something isn't right here. Look at that. Almost nailed it. Nice. I just eyeballed that. That's great. Love the song. There you go, my guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna get strikes coming up my butt. Strikes coming up my butt. All right. So it looks like we're directly in their path, which is a bonus. Um, still not becoming too clear. <laughs> Ew. Any vids of me patrolling off the coast a la Operation Drumbeat? Quite a few, actually. If you go to my YouTube channel and type in Drumbeat, like search Drumbeat, I think I have, um, one, if not two, specifically doing Operation Drumbeat. Drum, drumbeat, sorry. My mouth isn't mouthing correctly, so... Where do the exhaust fumes go? So when the boat is submerged, there is no exhaust fumes because you switch over to electric engines. Now, if you have a snorkel installed, the exhaust is funneled out through the snorkel. It's interesting. I can see the individual puffs of um, smoke. That's really kind of cool. I like that a lot, actually. It's neat. That's very cool. Yeah, so when you're underwater, you're not using diesels in any way, shape, or form. So there's no need for the exhaust to go anywhere, right? Let's truck along here a little bit. Just a little. Not online right now. Check tomorrow. I think I missed what may be going on in the Discord. Sorry about that, folks. I sometimes... What in God's name is going on here? It's got to be a war patrol. It has to be. They're all over the damn place. All right, let's see it. Show me. Show me. Yep, that's a destroyer. <sighs> all that for not a whole lot. Yeah, we're fine. They're not going to see me. They're not that good. Don't worry about it. All right. Get back up to where we were heading in the first place. All that tracking for nothing. Well, them's the breaks sometimes, folks. Oh, where are you going? They're chasing me, sons of guns. You little buggers, you. Get out of here. Um. Uh, Dad grew up in North Carolina, and as an eight-year-old, remember seeing ships burning on the horizon. Wow, my dude. It also means when submerged, the engines don't make that much noise. They do make less noise, yes. Less being the operative keyword. Uh, I mean, they're still outputting a fair amount of noise as noise go. Uh-oh, I'm picking up an important message. Um, grid AM468. Heading southerly. Okay. Where's that at? Uh, that's the same patrol. Stop telling me about the same damn patrol over and over. That's crappy. That's a crappy thing. I don't like that. I don't want to hear about it, okay? I just don't. Right, you go about your business, do whatever it is you need to do. 
Um, you're going to go ahead and rest yourself, my guy. Okay, let's head back into what I more or less understand to be the shipping lanes, I think. And oh, we got warships heading towards us yet again. Because reasons, that's what we do. More warships equals more fun, right? I think, I don't know. Not really. I don't particularly care for the warships. If they were worth something, devs, I'd be a lot more inclined to actually care about them in any way, shape, or form. However, devs, since they're essentially worthless, they're not worth wasting my torpedoes on. Devs. <laughs> oh, I really hope they change that at some point. God. At least give me a reputation point or something for each one sunk. But, like, I don't get paid, man. You gotta get paid. Nothing. Really? Nothing? Doesn't seem right to me. Doesn't feel correct to me. Just nothing at all. I mean, I don't want to chase that down. I don't want to leave my area of responsibility. Ugh, game, you're killing me. You're killing me, man. I just want to hunt in my sector, please. Is that so much to ask, really? Like, come on. Come on. thought the goal of the game was to win the war. You cannot win this war, my guy. Not possible. No, they don't count towards tonnage. Not at all. Yeah, you'll get a little, uh, an excerpt in the, in the uh, newspaper. And I think you get a little bit of experience from doing it, just from, like, firing the torpedoes and stuff, but essentially they're worthless. They, they, they have no worth. They don't count towards your tonnage. And until such a time as that has changed, I refuse to waste my torpedoes on it. Come on, ladies and germs. There's got to be something out here somewhere. Gosh, be danged. If I have to, I will burn all my kilometers in this sector and go down to sector BF1, where I know there's boats. You know what I mean? Like, come on, game. Like, this is a main route. There has to be boats. Has to be. You know? True, it does mimic the shipping of the time. You're right. It is, um, it is, um, fairly accurate historically, as I understand it. Okay, we got a 1 to 3 here and a 1 to 3 here. Very likely both warship convoys, but I need to look for something. Another two to four down there. Tanks, I'm blazing. All right, we're on the surface again. We're moving. Prestige. Prestige. Sorry, V. I'm not. I don't think I understand what you're saying, my guy. Do you mean the reputation points up here? The uh, this? This guy? I don't, I don't, I don't know prestige, sorry. Don't know. Break out the Geneva checklist, baby. Oh, yes. We Canadians know all about the Geneva checklist. All right. Should be out here somewhere, but if they're warships, they could be anywhere. Oh, hang on. Ooh, tanker. Ooh, Empire. Oh, what? They're probably the wrong... Oh, no, that's a UK boat. That's looking like a UK boat to me, baby. Yeah, boy. Okay. Let's slow to one. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Almost feels like a flaw in the game. Warship, be, warship should be worth something to be taken out. I agree. Um, I think it's just because of the way they designated what tonnage is and... I just feel like it was an oversight, uh, which I think should be easily remedied. Like, you know, it shouldn't take much. Just make all boats worth stuff. Like, that's all you got to do. You don't even have to think about it that hard, as far as I'm concerned. All right, we've got to go a little faster, because they're going in a different direction than I kind of assumed they were. That's okay, though. We're going to be fine. Um, I would like you to begin warming torpedoes, please. Yes, I would like that immensely. We got to cover, uh, let's say, 3K. How far has this progressed? I last had it installed September of 20. Vastly, Cyberbob, vastly. The game has changed in a lot of big ways, a whole lot of big ways. Why not just deck guns? We might get there. At the same time, I'm not 100% sure that what I was looking at is what I was looking at. Um, also, I really like hitting uh, tankers with torpedoes. That's a lot of fun. 
That's a whole lot of fun for this guy right here. And honestly, it's worth it to me to waste a torpedo on a tanker. Does the game give you any ideas as to your remaining fuel and how far out you are? Yes, 100%. So if you go over your fuel right here, right there, um, it shows how much fuel has been consumed. That's right. We will achieve our objectives. And where's the thing that... So, hang on. There should be a thing here that tells me exactly how many more kilometers I can do. Maybe it's because I'm not using the diesel engines right now. But it'll actually give you a readout of how many more kilometers you can possibly travel. Yeah. Um, only torpedo warships if they're escorts in a convoy steaming. Take out the escorts and deck on the merchants. Sure, yeah. Everybody gets to play their own way, my guy. Might need to load it up again. What does load it up again mean? Oh, sorry. Did I miss something? I probably missed something. I'm sorry. My second screen is not very large. Um, that's my bad. Okay. Um, we're good there. Might as well get on this for a little bit. Increase our everythings. Let's slow to one for a little bit. And now let's come to a lovely, decent stop. Okay, Skipper, come here and give me your thingamajigger. You know, that thing. The thing that makes the boom happen. I need one of those. Hello, war-class tanker. The Donax. Beautiful. I love it. Alright, UK, please. Australia, Canada. There it is. UK. Hello, civilian. Coaster, carrier, fishing boat, freighter, rescue vessel, tanker. Here we go. You, sir, are a war-class tanker, if I ever did see one. Recognized. Recognized. All right, let's get a velocity from our friend here, shall we? Let's zoom in nice and tight so I can see what I'm doing. Boop. Um, your game. Oh, loaded. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did U-boats historically use deck gun to sink ships? No. No. No, they were um, more like snipers. Fire torpedoes and get gone. Kind of thing. Historically, the deck gun was not used to sink vessels. I'm sure it was. <laughs> no duds. Big, big, big money, no whammies. Let's go. Big money, no whammies. Let's go. Seven knots sounds about right to this fella. Um, when we fire, nah. Let's 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 do it for real. Let's. Look, if we're going to waste a torpedo, let's do it properly, shall we? Let's do it properly. I want to click, please. I would like to click where this line is. Thank you. Stupid clicky nonsense. Anyway. Um, hello. Which way do you go? 59 little degrees for me. 59. Bow left. Bow left. 59. 59.6. Good enough for government work. Let me tell you that right now. Right now. <clears throat> uh, sorry, everybody. Y'all are chatting just so quickly. I can't keep up. The war class tanker is a civilian ship. War class. Yes, it's just what they designated the type of tanker. They could have called it boogeyman class. You know what I mean? Improved explosion graphics. I mean, yeah. I don't see them going all out on it. I really don't. Um, stop putting deck guns. Yes, at one point they just didn't bother anymore. Because you could go faster with no deck gun. So, yeah. A lot more stealthy in this game implies. Dive at the first sign of planes. Yes, yes. Diving diving is good when planes are a thing. It's a good call overall. All right. It's a little difficult to see that flag. But I would say that it's right about there. And I'm going to fire a torpedo at it. It's going to be an impact type. Um, we're going to leave the, the depth at 1.5. And I'm going to be firing pretty much right away here, because they're damn well near a 90 for me. So, what were we at? Like 29 degrees, give or take? Let's go ahead and punch it. I think we're okay there. Boink. Torpedo away. That torpedo is away. I don't know if you knew that, but it is. Now I'm going to move forward at 3. Um, because we're going to be killing this thing with the deck gun, 100%. Mm, AA guns with front and rear. I'm not sure, honestly. Captains took them off and threw them over the side. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense to me, because why would you be using it? 
Like being on the surface was death, essentially, right? So. Let's see how we do. Looks okay. Please don't dud, little torpedo. I appreciate it if you do not dud. I would very much like it if you did not dud. I don't want no duddens. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. I think they just said it's a miss. Which. Oh, well, it hasn't even hit yet. So they think we missed because the distance to target was a few meters more, right? So anyway, it should it should it should explode right about now. There it is. We've got fireworks. We've got fireworks. Hell to the yes. That's two. I know there's four in there. I'm sure there's four. Oh, she's sinking too fast for four. Ooh, there's three. Huh? Can you give me number four? Nah, not gonna get number four. Still. Ah. Beautiful. Hello? This is the German Coast Guard. What are you oh. thinking about? I can't focus on the ship anymore because technically it's gone. It disappeared once it went under the waves. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, feeling pretty good about that, not going to lie. All right, we're going to come up in the water and we're going to go say hello to our friend. The uh, Irish Pine, apparently. Irish Pine. I could board it. I plan on sinking it. Um, the Irish Pine is calling for help. You want a bear? Get a bear. I think he meant beer, but okay. Um, the Donax was torpedoed. Now, who knows who could have heard that? Anybody could have heard that. Anybody at all. We're going to slow to two. Actually, we're going to slow to one. Now, do I board it or do I kill it? By my reckoning, she was traveling with an enemy vessel. Ergo... According to Salted's personal handbook, she's fair game. But she was not traveling with an enemy escort, which technically, technically, takes her out of the running. Technically. Um, v wants it boarded. What do you say, chat? I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. You tell me what you want to see. Boarding or just booming away? First board it, then kill it. Vimy wants boarding. Looks like we might be boarding people. Oh, it's four for boarding. Unless a bunch of kills pile in here, folks. It looks like we're going to be boarding her. And maybe killing her. That's the thing. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, I have no idea what that means, photos. I don't speak Spanish, I want to say. Board it, kill it, ensure no witness. There's that. There is that. All right, let's go ahead and interact with her. Um, unarmed, not escorted, flies a neutral flag. It allows us to sink such ships only if we're certain they're headed towards an enemy port. If we lack su such certainty, ideally, we should investigate what's carrying and verify its destination. All right, well, let's send a, let's send a boarding party. Um, I have a linguist in my skipper here. I've got a Finnish speaker, a Russian speaker... And I have an English speaker as well. So we'll send all of the people with wonderful, magical um, things. Uh, Mr. Koss here speaks English, and we'll take five more bodies with us. And we're going to head on over and say hello. No sinking Irish ship ships, please. No promises. Means why not both? There you go, my guy. What do you need, officer? Um, perfect. He only knows the basics of German, but I have an English speaker, and this is fine. Um, Cybered, hello. <clears throat> Short, small talk, Captain. Lower your shields and oh. your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. They're heading for Boston. Well, technically speaking, we're not at war with the Americans yet. It's only the 6th of October, 1940. All right, let's put some pressure on and see what happens. Um, it's transporting food, they say. Let's make up some claims. They're denying everything. I mean, obviously, they're heading for the U.S. Like, 
obviously. Okay, let's search the hold though. We'll uh, check to see if what they're carrying is just food. Let's check it out. Need someone who speaks Irish. There you go, my guy. No one ready with the Yiddish? No, not a lot of Yiddish on the go. So my dark acolyte, Kieran. Oh dear, you don't want to see the dark side of Kieran. You don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Let me tell you that right now. That dude, he knows how to make potions. You know what I'm saying? He's a potion maker. He's an alchemist. Dude's an alchemist, right? You gotta watch that stuff. Suddenly you're a newt. You know what I mean? Just all of a sudden, boom. You're, you're just having a beer. You hear laughter. Everything goes all wiggly, and then you're a newt. Done. Done. I'm just saying. Just trying to say, people. Ugh, they've got to put something on the screen here. Like, put anything. Any, any moving background of any kind. Just anything. Uh, crap, Kieran's here. Uh, everybody act natural. Everybody act natural. Let's see what you're carrying. They're carrying food, just like they said. Gosh dang it. Well, yeah, we had no... We were never going to sink that ship. No, we were just making sure everything was okay. We were making sure everything was okay on board that ship. That's all we were doing, Kieran. That's all we were doing, my guy. I promise. I swear. Oh, God, don't turn me into a newt. Please don't turn me into a newt. Okay, we got to back up because he's in my way. All right, speed three to the forward. Rock and or roll. I need to charge up the compressors, and we got we to gotta get the daily report. Let's pick up the daily report. All your cheese are belong to us. <clears throat> Kittens playing with string. I like it. Um, The Ben Lowers uh, was sunk by U-123. Um, Norwegian motor tanker Nina Borfen was sunk by U-103. And I keep losing that because I keep trying to scroll down via the mouse wheel. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of talk, but I wouldn't... Most of the talk is coming from the community, not from the devs themselves. Um, to the best of my knowledge, the only thing they're bringing in is a Type 2. I think? A type 2? Can't remember. Anyway, news from London. Uh, Nina Borthen, yep. Now, why do they... So, why does the news in London know which U-boat? You know what I mean? Like, that's a little weird. Um, the unescorted British general was hit from U-37. Not much effect, but the tanker stopped after being hit aft by a second torpedo. U-boat stayed nearby during the night to wait for the ship to sink. Stayed on top. U-37 couldn't finish her off the deck gun because she was armed. Tanker finally sank uh, at 200 hours. Two, or sorry, 20 hundred hours. Uh, hit by two coup de gras. The master, 45 crew members, and one gunner were lost. Wow. Spies? Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't need spies. All right. We're going to go this way because that's where they came from. So, you know, with any luck, we'll find where they came from. We'll go to the end of this sector here. I would very much like to find somebody that I can shoot at. Uh, let's throw a T2 to the forward in case I run into another tanker that I shouldn't be wasting T1s on. I shouldn't have wasted a torpedo there. Really, I shouldn't. But, oh, there's just something that's so delicious. So delicious about torpedoing a oil tanker. There's just... Mmm! Just hits different, you know what I'm saying? Not a problem there, Scarlet. Not a problem at all. 100% my guy. Hitting more of my vids. Thank you very kindly. I do. I, get, I do stream every Monday and Wednesday. So if you want to swing on by, hey, I'd love to see you again in the future. Much obliged, much obliged. Love this game. Getting a bit tired of the developers letting feature creep get in the way of actually releasing a full version. I really can't speak to the developers, my guy. Um, what The only thing in the world I want is stability. And more stories, more missions. That's what I want. They could never add another kind of boat. They could net. They could change essentially nothing else. 
I'd like the ability to turn off NPC U-boats. I would like that very much because I just find they get in the goddamn way. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. I think the, the wolf pack mechanic was not well thought out personally, but that's just me. We're all different. We all get to play the game that we want to play. One to three, eh? Heading out this way. Interesting. Could be a war patrol. Management overhaul would be helpful, I think. Um, something a little more user-friendly would be of, of great benefit, I think, to most people. Just something a little, just not even a lot more user-friendly. Even if they could just make it clear what clicking each one of those things does. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, even that would be enough for me. All right, we got a foggy day. Let's get Skipper up. Have him take a little look around for us here. Because supposedly there's a boat out here somewhere. That's true, KJ. My own particular version of U-Boat seems to have, like, just, I don't know, an uncanny valley of nonsense that got included with it. Which I don't know if everybody else gets that, but mine certainly got it. Where in the hell is this little puff of smoke at? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Come here, you. Alright, let's slow to one, and we'll hunt underwater for a moment or two. I gotta find him. I wanna find him! I gotta find him. Just saying. I am looking to find you, oh little boats. Now they're supposedly coming to... There we go. She's just out ahead of us. A single boat alone, probably not going to be a warship. Probably not. That being said, not saying it couldn't happen, just saying it's not likely. It's right out in front of me, but I'm not catching any sight of the smoke at all. Not even a hint. That's okay. We'll catch her. We're going to catch her. It's okay. Um, my torps keep missing ahead of target whenever I launch salvos and multiple ships in the convoy. Well, Wrench, I have a series of tutorials on how to fire torpedoes. Uh, if you follow them step by step, you're going to hit them, my guy. Um, obviously, there's a mistake in your calculation somewhere as to what it is. I would guess speed would be my guess. Normally, distance won't affect it that much, but still. Prop. What the hell? Why is it so tiny? What is it? What am I looking at? It's just a little dot. It's a fishing boat! What the hell are you doing out here, fishing boat? I've never shot a fishing boat before. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. I thought it was a lifeboat too, because it's so tiny. Same. I've never seen an enemy fishing boat. Never, not once. So I'm going to go shoot it. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to shoot it with my dick gun. Yeah, buddy. You're going to catch a round, my guy. You know what? I don't like the industrial fishing complex. I really don't. I think it's really bad for the environment, and I think we should fix it. Sustainable tuna, my ass. You know what I'm saying? It's the top of an enemy sub. There you go, my guy. Bo can I board it? I don't think I can board it. It's not giving me any indication I can board it, so that's probably not going to work. Still, I want to say hello. And by hello, I mean I'm, I'm going to kill it. I'm <laughs> gonna kill it. <clears throat> yeah, you better have life jackets aboard. I'm just saying. All right, listen. This isn't personal, but it's... I need to do science now. We have to do some science. I'm just saying. This isn't personal, okay? I'm just... Okay. Ah, Jesus Christ. We did zero damage. Uh, still zero damage. This doesn't feel right, guys. I don't feel okay. Okay. Okay, that did it. I do want to use the big gun. Oh, no. Ah, I feel bad. Where am I? Hello? 
What the hell? Okay. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh lordy. We are going to give these men food. We are, we are 186% going to give them some food because this is brutal. I feel so terrible. <laughs> Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay. Um, I would like to leave this view, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, lordy, I feel bad. I feel so bad. Ugh, Christ. The lifeboat is as big as the boat, 100%. Canned fish! I don't think I have any canned fish. If I do, I'm gonna offer them fish. Oh! Don't do that, V. <laughs> Does it count towards tonnage? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to this number right here. Maybe it did. I have no idea. Ah, uh, two dudes just hanging out in a boat together. Do I have fish? I don't have fish. You know what we have is eggs. You want some eggs? I'm not giving them 83 goddamn eggs. I'm going to give them 10. You can have 10 eggs. Here you go. 10 reputation, baby. It's it's a rough world out here, folks. It's hard. Like, living is tough. I'm just saying. Anyway, now that I've committed what I feel is a war crime, <laughs> and KJ apparently also agrees that it's a war crime, um, yeah, that was, that was bad. That was bad. I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, I could sell them, you know, but I feel like, I feel like we've done enough. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we've done enough that uh, it is not necessarily to sell the human beings at this point. Hey, Cosmic, what's going on, my guy? Wow. I feel bad. Anybody just joining us, I just uh, shot civilians to, to death and sank their boat. Um, I don't feel particularly proud of it. I don't, but uh, I needed to know. And that was the first enemy fishing ship I'd ever found. So, sorry boys, it was your turn, I guess. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hunt underwater for a minute here. I think there's a, a small convoy. Here we go. Small convoy hanging out over here. Uh, heading towards my position, which is good. I like that, actually. That's great. It's only 100 kilometers to the coerced of dark. <laughs> eh, it said it was... I don't know. It's Yeah, okay. Anyway. Anyway, I'm sure it's fine, right? We're not directly going to hell, right? Like, we'll we'll have some time... Probably to pack, I think. I don't know. Oh, okay. Break time. I mean, oh, shoot. You know what? You're right. I totally forgot. We're about an hour in, everybody. If you're new here to the stream, I like to take a break every hour or so. Stretch my limbs. Let my knees crack, snapple, and pop. Because, you know, I have, uh, I have reached the fourth decade of my life. So, that's the thing I got to do now. 30 plus life, baby. What's up? 100%. Um, yeah, we're gonna take a quick break, everybody. It might be like 12 minutes, give or take. Uh, listen, if you choose to leave the stream now, that's cool. I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming by in the first place. I hope to see you in the future. Uh, the camera's taking a break. Cool, 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 cool. I love that this happens when I'm trying to do other things. That's one of my favorite things. Camera, camera. Um, this... This and this and yay, everything's better. Thank you for letting me know, everybody. Oh, and there it goes again. There it goes again. That's cool. This is fun. I'm a professional. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew that, but like, and it just keeps deactivating. Okay. No, okay. That's okay. Um, hmm. What's going on there? Hello? Camera? Camera! This is not okay, my guy. I think it's better. I don't know. I think it's having some hiccups. I think it's sick. I think it 
something happened. I personally blame someone else altogether. I don't think that was my fault. Listen, it. God damn it! <laughs> Stop. Stoop. Mm. Activate. Activate. Stay connected. Please stay connected. Do me a favor and stay connected. I'd appreciate it if you... No, there it goes again. Wow. Okay. Hello? Guys, I'm scared. Uh... Is everything okay? Are we good? Bro? Hello? Okay. Um, I'm concerned that my camera's dying. I have concerns about that all of a sudden. I didn't have concerns about that, but now I do. Ooh, maybe the camera needs a break too. Maybe you're not wrong. 100% my guy. 100%. Are fishing boats legit targets in World War II? I have no idea. I don't know. I had to sink it for science. For science, my guy. That's what we had to do. What is going on with my hair? What is happening right now? What is what is this? Guys, what is the Help me! Why are Oh, there goes my <laughs> camera again. Okay, listen, we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to try to unplug it and plug it back in or something. I don't know what the hell is going on. Anyway, I should be back in about 10, 15 minutes tops. Listen, if you choose to leave the stream now, thanks very much for coming by in the first place. Hope to see you in the future. For everybody else who's going to stick around for a little bit, maybe I'll get my camera working, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.
All right, folks, what do you say we try to get back at it? I'll see if I can get my camera working again, shall we? I know I missed a bit of uh, talky-talky. I'll do my best to catch up once I try desperately to understand why the camera keeps not working over and over and over. Please, uh, somebody let me know the second it freezes up again. Uh, I think I may need a new camera, which means I got a budget for a new camera now. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. This is the life I chose. This is where we are. This is where we live. Okay. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, chat is bloodthirsty. You're not... War criminal. Oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, Muka Latio. I probably butchered that. Hello. Welcome. Um, schedule watch me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, good roads. Nice weather does. Does definitely help. 100%. Cool when all things can fall into place. Agreed, agreed. Um, there you go. Cool. All right. We are tracking down a one to three contact. With any luck, we'll find them. <laughs> I know I'm off center a little bit, but I I'm I don't want to touch the camera because I'm afraid it'll it'll explode, essentially. I think it'll send shrapnel into my face at this point, so I, I am concerned. I don't know what's happening with my hair. I'm sorry about this. Um, I promise I'm usually a little bit more put together. Not really. Um, I attempt to be more put together. How about that? Well, thank you, my guy. Ah, yes. Thank you, KJ. I appreciate you enjoying my pain. That's that's good of you. Appreciate it, my guy. And, <laughs> and he still doesn't know what to do with his hands. There you go. I like it. All right, we're dialing in. We're getting ready to rock and or roll, possibly both. We want to see some boats, please. We want to see... This is moving very quickly. Um, I think we've run into more fishing boats. And by boats, I mean boat. Okay. You tune in for the hair? Makes sense to me. Why wouldn't you, right? Come on now. Uh, there's something up here. We're going to have to get back to the surface, mind you. Ship spotted. We spotted a damn fishing boat is what we spotted. Just saying. Just saying. It got spotted all right. Funnel smoke. Funnel smoke. It's a fishing trawler. Come on now. Uh, ship almost left without you. No worries, my guy. I got you. I got you. I got you, my bro. I got you, dude. Alarm off because we didn't need to be alarmed in the first damn place because it's a fishing boat. Okay? Relax. Everybody be calm. Everybody chill. Be... Uh, okay, there's the fishing boat that we just left behind. And apparently we're heading towards another contact out here on the briny. No vision on it yet. Time will tell. Leaving without me is verboten. Ah, uh, God, it hurts. Okay. It hurts. Would you say you tuna in for my hair? <laughs> uh, I hate myself. I do. I wish I hadn't have said that. But I did. Now we all have to live with it. Alright, I don't know where what it is I'm searching for is, so we're going to try to find it with this thing. If we activate the magic ears, uh, yeah, that's not a one to three. It's a one, and it's a damn fishing boat. And this also may be a damn fishing boat. Uh, that's moving really damn fast. Ooh, that might be a war patrol, baby. <laughs> that squall, folks. Oh, God. Some carry four, 40 millimeter mackerels. I like it. First war crimes, then puns. I'm sorry, all, but this is the darkest timeline. Hey, that's a boat. I like boats. I enjoy boats. I think they're rather special. I need red lighting so I can see, please. I don't even know what direction I'm heading in because all the uh, decimal... D d starts with a D, the, the thingies on the screen. Delineations. I don't know what I'm talking about. What are you... Blah, blah, blah. Why should I know what I'm talking about if you guys don't know? Just saying. Oh, we're in a fog bank. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. How is it? Okay. Well, anyway. Let's go faster, please. Um, uh, yeah. 
Let's jump on the radio really quick, calling the fact that we spotted this thing. A couple extra dollars in my pocket, which I don't hate. Back on the listening room real quick, like. Don't need any help, I don't think. Or maybe I do. Alright, apparently I do. Alright, I don't know what I'm looking at. It is coming from either... No. I, I mean, I guess it could be coming from Ireland, but it's probably... <sighs> it's probably an enemy vessel is what I'm trying to get at here. I'm going to warm a turpidu just in case. You never know. You never know. It's red herring. I like it. Jonathan, what's up, my guy? Please torpedo the fishing boat. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I like science as much as the next guy, but damn. Do they play cod or cod? And the puns are on porpoise. Oh, no. I I am so sorry, chat, that you are being subjected to this. I apologize wholeheartedly over what you're being tortured with. Tormented, even, one might say. Now, we're not going to be able to see this. Like, we'd have to be on top of it, essentially. And that's probably not going to work. So... I mean, it's here, it's right here, but I can't see it. I can't see it. I could hear it. Definitely doesn't, it definitely sounds bigger than a fishing boat. Okay, we're going to... <sighs> Alright, let's get a quick timing off. It will take a one minute timing. It's here-ish. I don't know where it's from. I don't know what it is. But, much like they would have done in their timeline, we're going to take, uh, take, take the opportunity to think that it's an enemy. We'll time it for one minute, I'll use the charts, and we'll get a, a rough indication of where it is. Betting on, betting on a tanker? You never know, my guy. You never know. If it's still prize rules, you can get right up on it. True, at the same time, sometimes I like to, to play it as if, okay, you're on the boat, you cannot see the target. All you have is the sound of screws and the fact that it's likely a freighter. You know what I mean? Like, playing it that way from time to time, I think, has um, some merit to it, right? Samurai wants a tanker. You never know. You never know. All right, we're 45 seconds into the run. 15 seconds to go. And we'll find out. 10 seconds to go. 5, 4, 3, 2... One stop. Goodbye, stopwatch. Okay, trying not to look at the boat, trying not to look at the boat, trying not to look at the boat. Okay. Did my best. Did my best to not look at the boat. It went two, 225 meters. This thing is flying. What? 225. Um, okay, she's going a little more than seven. She's going roughly 20 less than 8, but only about 10 more than 7. So I'm going to say 7.3 is going to be my speed. War tanker, it's going 6.794 knots. There you go, my guy. Oh, sorry, I missed something. Real life, they didn't have a map. Oh, 100%, yeah. V's guess is 7-3. V, we are in agreement, my guy. I also agree that 7-3 makes the most amount of sense for this particular vessel. 7.3 is its speed. Now, its direction of travel, i.e. true course, is as follows. Uh, there to there gives me 68 degrees in the negative. Okay. Negative six eight. That's not that's a three. Sixty-eight. Okay. Oh, it shows merchant. 
Um, yeah, down here. Unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do about that. If you click on something, it will give you what the game thinks it is, so... I'd like to imagine Skipper being shot into low Earth orbit. Oh my god. Wow. Dang, sunshine, dang. Alright, all that's left is distance. Distance to target is all we require. Let's start slowing down, please. We're going to be about a kilometer from here. I'd like to get close enough that I might be able to catch sight of it, but who knows. Okay. Rough math says I want to shoot to here. 870 meters. We're going to call it 860. Because we're still drifting forward. I want this torpedo. We're going to make it magnetic because we don't know what we're shooting at, right? And we're going to send it at three meters. Send it at three. Firing. Realistically, I should be shooting two torpedoes, but it is what it is. All right, with any luck, it will not detonate before reaching target. What do we got? I see an Empire class. Ooh, that's not a good flag to see, I don't think. That does not look like enemy flags to me. No, it does not. Mm. Irish hospital ship. There you go, my guy. What is this flag? What do we got here? Uh, DZMC 2000. Oh, my God. KJ. Please don't sink sick. Kieran on me, please. Please don't do it. The dude has an apothecary, I think. The Kyle Claire the First. If anybody would like to look up the Kyle Claire the First on Subsim, you could give her a eulogy if you really feel like it. Oh man. Okay. I feel bad. I feel bad. This ship did nothing to nobody, and I am torpedoing it. Ah, damn. Damn, damn. Hello? Is we dud? <sighs> KJ, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, KJ. I didn't do it. I didn't sink the ship. I didn't sink the ship. Oh, God. I don't want my legs bitten off. <laughs> I didn't do it. You can't, you can't do anything. I, I, I did not kill that boat. It is not dead. Oh, who the lully, who the lully. Looks like it's going to be the last. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't do it. No war crimes there. No war crimes there. Not even one. Not even one. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, T-Reds23, thanks for that follow. Welcome to the channel. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that was heart-stoppingly good now, wasn't it? Ooh-wee. Say, hoo-wee, we almost sank an Irish ship for no reason other than the fact that it existed. Yeah. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Yep. Anyway. Sometimes duds can be your friend, people. Sometimes. I did reload, V. Come on now. Jesus. Okay. Little clover. There you go, my guy. I mean, technically a war crime, like tech, tech, okay, technically it's, it's an example of, um, attempted murder. Okay. Yes, it is a crime. Attempted murder is a crime. However, I just want to point out no one got hurt. I'm just saying, I'm just saying nobody got hurt. So I think we're okay. I think, uh, we can square things with the Lord and everything's going to be fine, right? Two to four down yonder. It's an odd place for them to be. Heading the wrong way. No, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. 
That's a war patrol for sure. Could have been a false flag. You never know. I could have boarded her. But the thing was, is where we engaged her over here, there was a two to three in this area. And I was betting money that it would be a patrol. And I didn't want to be stuck on the surface inspecting it for hours upon hours. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I had fun, I mean, you're right. And I did try. You're not wrong, Mr. C. That is correct. I want to feel worse than I do. But I have no doubt that this will tickle KJ's fancy and Kieran's uh, uh, potion mixing for ages to come. So I think in the long run, we're ahead of the game, right? Interesting report to send to mom and pop. You're not wrong. Oh, dear. Um, yes. Yes, KJ, you are correct. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Um, to the best of my abilities, I will refrain from shooting at other Irish vessels. Please take this uh, to be a contract between the two of us that I will make no further attempts on Irish lives provided identification is provided in a timely manner. Let's say that, okay? The war patrol will get wind of you and then they'll keep chasing you even if you teleport. Yes, that has happened. I have proven, proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that this game cheats. Proven it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Just saying. Cheating ass game. Yeah, the torpedo fell. I, uh... Like, we were just, like, it was right there. And it was raining. Uh, no, it was foggy, so there was, like, a buildup of moisture on the torpedo, and we just, we lost hold of it. That's... That's all I can tell you there, Chief. Uh, we just lost hold of the torpedo. I'm sorry about that, but, uh, you know, it is what it is uh, kind of thing. I'd like to thank the engineers back in Deutschland. for. <laughs> You're not wrong. Let the contract be sealed. Very well, my friend. It is a pact between us. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm starting to do the coffee cough thing. Happens when I use my, my, my mouth noises too much. Um, it's not cheating. It's the way the Warp Patrol is programmed. You have to lose them the proper way. Yes, but I would, I would argue that that is cheating. That it is cheating like a little cheaty cheer. Like a desk pop. That's all it was. We were just celebrating, you know, essentially trying to make fire fireworks. That's all we were doing. That's all. Whoa, what do you mean missing on engines? No, 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 no. That means that for whatever reason, the squad is disengaged from their taskings. And it happens entirely too often, by the way. So we will fix it. We will reassign our engine crew and they will no longer be missing from the engines. Little so-and-sos that shouldn't be missing anyway. Uh, we forgot what our job was. Sorry. No, 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 no. There's none of that. No, no forgetting your jobs. That's not a thing we do. We're at war, gentlemen. We're at war, okay? I'm just trying to point out that this is a thing. Right? Ominous rumble of thunder. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, KJ, you're, uh, you're freaking me out, man. <laughs> you're freaking me out, my guy. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Please let me find boats. Dear sir and or madam, I require boats for um, this school project I'm working on uh, about the Little Mermaid. Um, and microplastics, maybe, are a part of it. I think microplastics are part of my project. Um, so I need you to send boats to me. Like, specifically... Tankers and freighters. That's what I require. Yeah. <clears throat> Found in the torp room knitting. I like it. Um, thunderstorm shot my power. Oh, sorry to hear that, my guy. Having power outages is a terrible thing. I really, really can't stand it. It's especially bothersome with children. Um, <laughs> they become quite unreasonable. I don't know if anybody has ever uh, had to partake. Um, we've completed the mission here. I'm personally not done. 
Uh, we're going to go down to BF1 and uh, piss about a little bit in BF1 because there's usually a lot more shipping in BF1 than there is here. It is still very early in the war, mind you, but uh, I'm willing to take my chances. Kids are away right now, sun look. I mean, that is true. They do really dig the candles. I find glow sticks are a big, uh, big killer of time as well. Especially if you let them cut them open, like dribble them about and whatnot. Children without computer or, pro or a phone. Yeah, well, I mean, they normally have their phone for a given amount of time because, you know, the power just went out. So they've usually got a couple of hours on them, right? Did Ariel learn first aid? <laughs> I like that. That's good. Just a big old hamster wheel, 100%. Kids got to work. My children do chores. My children do chores in order to earn an allowance, and they receive a very generous allowance. Um, one that would have shocked me as a child, but quite frankly, uh, the world is what it is. Like, you can't just give them five bucks anymore. Like, it's not... That's it's essentially useless. Like, five dollars means nothing. You can barely get candy for $5 at this point, so. No, my children do chores, and they're they're not unhappy doing them. They're not extraneous by any by any means. Um, but they earn they earn a earn a decent wage doing it. So I think that's important. I personally think that's a good way to raise your kids. You know. Okay, boomer! What the fuck? <laughs> I, sir, am a millennial. Thank you very kindly. Son who's on the phone almost all the time feels sad for him. It is no longer our world, people. It is no longer our world. The idea of, well, we think that they should be doing X, Y, and Z and shouldn't be doing X, Y, and Z. Believe me, I struggled with this for a very long time extraordinarily long time I struggled with the concept of children that didn't seem to want to do quote unquote anything it's not my world anymore um, I'm not saying don't give your children reasonable boundaries what I'm saying is you got to change your expectations they, they your expectations must change they must that that is a given um, we've got a one to three out ahead of us here somewhere we're far enough off the coast that I would assume that they will not be uh, fishing boats, so I'm quite pleased about that. Millennial, you've got a Gen X. You're a Gen X. I wish I was, but technically speaking, Gen uh, Millennial begins um, from 1981 and forward, right? So I was born in 83. I am a millennial. I personally consider myself a Zennial, uh, I think is the term, a Gen X slash millennial, but it is what it is. No worries there, Seymour, 100%. Candy only costs a nickel. I mean, no, I can remember when there were penny candies. I, I truly, truly remember penny candies as a thing. Like That was an absolute thing. But uh, those days are over. I also do not believe that one single candy bar should cost over $2. That's ridiculous. Okay, they're at my approximately, let's say, 8 degrees. Yeah, okay. So we'll just continue on in this direction until we uh, figure out what we're dealing with here. What's 1963 then? Unfortunately, I believe you're, you belong to the boomer generation. There's Vimy just throwing boomer at me again. God damn it. AI ruining the market. You know, the only thing that I have against AI is that it's uh, making artwork and music and not being a CEO and putting money where it's meant to be. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying, right? When I was younger, we were called Gen Y. Interesting, okay. Don't say ancient! Oh my god, that would have been killer. I should have done it. I should have done it. Where'd you go? Come here. Looks like it's heading towards me all of a sudden. I thought it was heading away. I could be incorrect. I could be wrong. Alright, okay. We've got doubles. Um. Oh, hang on. What am I looking at here? Americans? I think I'm looking at an American ship there. Um, mm, hard to tell from this distance. Tell you what we'll do is we'll go this way. Maximum a go-go and we'll dive. We'll go down to 40 meters. 
We'll get out ahead of them and we'll uh, try to suss out what I'm dealing with here. We're going to try to suss this out. Get down to 4-0 and uh, figure it out. Don't need anybody on the hydrophone just yet. We've got some uh, some some room to make up. <clears throat> um, oh, what's doing both? Hang on, what did I miss? It's doing both. Sorry, Shade, I don't know what you're saying, my guy. I must have missed something, sorry. A happy Gen Xer? There you go, my dude. Why not? Look, people, be proud of who you are. Whatever generation you happen to fit into, provided you're... You know, not a... Well, I was going to say a word. I probably shouldn't say it while I'm streaming. As long as you're not a bad person, be proud of who, you, who, what generation you're a part of. My God, why wouldn't you be, right? Why wouldn't you be? Baba, what's going on, my guy? The schmoo. Gotta love that. I like that. I do. Um, it makes me think of uh, not only the comic, but uh, uh, what was it? Lucky number Slevin? Was that the name of the movie? That was a great movie, by the way. That was a fantastic work uh, movie. I'm just saying. Um, okay, we're starting to draw fairly even now. Here we go. Let's dial in a little bit. Dial in just a shade, right? It's funny to me that we're pigeonholed into someone's... In we pigeonhole someone's entire personality into what range... Yeah, although I do 100% prescribe the concept that there are such people as boomers. And those people, specifically not the generation, but the way they view the world makes them boomers in my mind. Does that make sense? Lucky, no Lucky number 11. Yeah, it was a movie. Or was it just called Slevin? No, I thought it was called Lucky number 11. Fantastic flick. Super good. I loved it a lot. It was very good. Gentlemen, I need you to bring the periscope out of the water. I don't uh, I don't know what things were like on the last boat you served on. American and American. Okay, we've got some uh, inspections coming up. Inspections coming up. We've got American vessels. I want somebody on the radio in case they call for help, which gives me the indication that they should be sunk. It was a good movie, 100%. Don't be a Richard head. 100% my guy. That's kind of the direction I was going in there. Don't be proud if you're from generation 45. I think it's illegal. I wouldn't say so. I get what you're getting at, though. I get what you're getting at. Nature versus nature. 100% my dude, it is. Mm. Upbringing the world they grew up in. Yeah, anybody that says those idiotic words of... Um, this generation doesn't want to work or they have to pull themselves up by their bootstraps anything of that vein you sir need to shut your gob i almost said other things but you need to shut your gob and figure out that you're no longer living in that world your world is gone it is gone and now we have this crappy one which unfortunately was ruined by the people who are saying these godforsaken things just saying. All right, let's stop here. Okay, what do we got? The Eastern Sword is our first uh, first up at bat. We're going to send a delegation. We definitely want an English speaker. Um, I'm going to send these guys because I normally don't send them. Because I know I have an English speaker and this guy is American. So that'll make it very easy to commune with them. Lucky number 11, the blurp goes... Yeah, fantastic flick. I highly, highly recommend it. I do. I think every generation has said that. You're not wrong, actually. Um, What do you want? He's asking in German. Did a lot of Americans speak German in 1940? I'm just saying. Uh, let's see now. They're headed for the port of Cork. One assumes it's an Irish port. Give me a moment, please. I'm not familiar with it. Cork. Where's... Here we go. That's Cork. They could be heading for Cork. Taking medical supplies. Let's put some pressure on. Denies it. Okay. Let's check the hold, please. Heading for Cork. Um... 
Yep, I got the English guy, my dude. I got him. Large German community in America. Was there? I was unaware. They probably stopped speaking it around that time. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, honestly, the change in vernacular, uh, that doesn't bother me at all. You either adapt or die. You either evolve or stagnate. That's your call. That's all of our calls. Do you know what I mean? So if people type what looks like nonsense to you and you're unwilling to learn what the nonsense means, you're no different than the people who were having children in the 1960s that refused to learn their lingo. Do you know what I mean? Um, you have to adapt. You have to learn. You have to learn. Children, they have bad manners, contempt. Yeah, 100%, my guy. 100%. Wisconsin had a large German population? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Try so hard to speak in the Gen Z vernacular. I'm not saying you should try to speak it to them. I'm just saying you should be aware of what it means. Because if you try to speak it, you're cringe, bruh. No cap. On God. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Medical supplies in the hold, as they said. Okay, we have zero reason to sink this ship. Um, that being said, she has a friend. She has a friend, and... Oh, that's not what I meant to do, sorry. I meant to send the radio... Oh, he's not at the radio yet. That's why I'm having a hard time. Um, what was he just saying? Yes, he has a friend, and I would like to go say hello to him. Let's go catch up to your buddy, shall we? The other American. Oh, picking up a transmission from BDU. Uh, AM976. Available units should attempt to... Uh, get him. Interesting. Huh. Course of 194, so they're heading this way. All right, we'll keep an eye on that. My intent right now is to continue to harass the Americans. Because that's what we're doing. We're, we're harassing them. Come on now. We'll call a spade a spade. We're going to call a spade. Okay, don't. Don't skip out on me when I'm on time compression. Oh, my God. Please. I beg of you. Slow to one. And stop. Okay. Let's get on board this here ship. Take the same folks, I think. And our English speaker. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Um, serious question. Oh, God, Vimy, no! Wait, Shade said it first. Gosh dang it. Oh, no, Shade said it. Yeah, okay, so my bad. I'm reading things in the wrong order. 20s and 30s. Sorry, V. You either adapt or die, my dude. That's, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Learned English since kindergarten up until uni, only to read that native English speakers use no cap. It is what it is, my dude. It's no longer our world, people. It's not our world. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Budweiser, 100%. Um, he's speaking German again. Heading for Cork, transporting food. Heading to Cork makes perfect sense to me. Let's try to make up some claims. All right, we'll return. We'll uh, search their hold and see if they're carrying anything other than food. Adapt or die, choose to fight. You will lose, friend. You will lose. Trying to change the vernacular of the next generation is uh, folly. It is folly. You will lose, my friend. You, sir, shall lose that fight every time because the world will march on. The world will march on. You know what I saw recently? Uh, it kind of blew me away. There was... So, pretty recently, they canceled schools here. The night before, they... The, the weather indications was that a big monster storm was coming, right? So they canceled schools. And what we got was not 
as much snow as they thought they were gonna, thought we were going to get. According to all of our scientists, our meteorologists, we were going to get buried, and we ended up not being buried. So people of a certain age, let's put it that way, took to the internet complaining, complaining, uh, and posting pictures of what it was like in their day, children wading through waist-deep snow to get to school, saying things like, back in my day, they didn't cancel school for a dusting. Okay. I understand. Here's the thing. I personally am beyond glad that my children have it better than I have it. I really do. I, I, I think... I think the next generation being better better is more important than being as tough as the people that came to came first you know what i mean somebody has to be first when it comes to making things better someone has to be the first ones unfortunately it's not going to be you you're not the generation the world is built for anymore and you have to make peace with that you really do um, what's my favorite ball cap chat? Uh, I don't know what that means, Delitha. My favorite ball cap chat. I don't know what that is. Sorry. Scott Jackson, I'm doing well, my guy. I hope you're doing well as well. Back in the year, they canceled school for the Roman census. Not quite the Roman census. Um, we did cancel it for, uh, beaver hunting and, um, uh, uh canoeing. Station in Alaska said no cap. There you go. That is what it is. Disagree. The world evolves in cycles. Soon the modern way will die and a new cycle will begin. No more bra, no cap, or any sentences with lol. It'll die out. Of course it'll die out. It'll die out in, in the way that all lingos will die out. A new lingo will take its place. Your vernacular V will no longer exist by that point. Our vernacular, our lingo, our um, slang. It will not exist come that point. We are the ones on the way out. It is what it is, right? No cap means no lie. Straight truth. No lie, no cap. Not exactly sure where the cap part comes from, but I do understand it. So it is what it is. Yep, the, uh, the, the lol generation will die out and will be replaced by something you can't even imagine. But it won't, be, it won't be a return to the way it was. It will never be that. Never. All right, we got a level up here for Mr. Jansen. What does he need? Does he need anything interesting? Ooh, an additional officer would be good for him. Let's get improved authority. And now I got to give him mech four. He needs mech... Sorry, wait. Who? Okay. Mech 1 and 2 is here. He gets mech 3. Did I make a mech 4 yet? Mechanic number 4. 1, 2, 3. I did not. Mr. Mayor, you will no longer be you. You're going to be mech 4. Mechanic 4. And you will be assigned specifically to Mr. Jansen. Boom. Hell yeah. Now we got it sorted. Now we got it sorted, baby. You yeah. gonna live forever. Ah, best of luck, my guy. Oh, what a terrible fate. Hundred percent jet stream. That's the world. That's the world. Read Lord of the Rings after I learned how Americans in movies speak. I mean, okay, read Shakespeare. Read Shakespeare. Like it's 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 been degrading and changing unbelievably rapidly over time like you guys under have to understand the world needs to change like it, it, it needs to it must humans do not stagnate we we refuse to stagnate right unless our lingua is better than the modern why is it why would it be better still use words that have, pra have persisted for hundreds of years okay have they persisted for thousands of years? No, not at all. Listen to... Uh, 
go ahead and and like look up something like the evolution of language. You know what I mean? Like it'll blow your mind how different our speech is, right? Don't understand what my granddaughter's talking about. It's all good, man. It is what it is. We we are no longer the focus, and that's okay. I understood you meant the book. What I mean to say is, okay, you read a book that came out, sorry, when was Lord of the Rings written? In the 50s, 40s, 50s, 40s? I don't know. Written a long ass time ago, okay? So if you read something that was written even longer ago, the the vast unbelievable difference in the language is is it's mind-boggling how much things have changed mind-boggling right and that's important because people need to change you can still understand certain words from the viking age you'll be able to understand certain words from any age provided it's even close to english the words no and cap are perfectly understandable you may not understand the deeper meaning behind the word, but if you just read the word cap, you would get an idea in your mind of what it means. Oh, it means a, a type of headdress with a brim, etc. 1950s, thank you. Tried reading Homer, you couldn't. Makes sense. That's why it's hard to understand a Bible from the 1300s. 100%. Um, considering that... Oh, I shouldn't even get into it. I was going to say how many times it got... Um, rewritten and 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 changed and omitted and uh just you know translated differently etc there's there's all kinds of of nonsense that went on with that it's it's so old right great vowel shift yeah happens all the time or the verb to cap to close your limit 100 percent. so you'll read a word and you're like oh well i can still understand that no you don't you don't understand the context of the word right the context is much more important than understanding the word you know what i mean so like i said things things change things will continue to change things must change the world abhors stagnation we know this evolution etc right Things must change, and we must change with them. If we refuse to change, we stagnate and die. And that is all there is to it. Deep thoughts. I didn't mean to go spinning off, everybody. I don't mean to bore you. I really don't. Sorry about this. I don't know. I got involved in something. I got involved in something all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's my bad. <clears throat> That's my bad. I'll go back to shooting stuff. If you change, you still die. 100%, you just miss the stagnation part. I can understand what my children are saying to me because I take the time to learn what the vernacular means. If that makes me wrong somehow, then I don't want to be right. I really don't. To hell with it. I'd rather be wrong. I'd much rather be wrong. All right, we're approximately 1,600-ish meters from where I think I'm going to be shooting. Let's slow down a bit. saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Shade, I believe. Just let me pull up a little window that I forgot to open earlier. Come on, where's my mouse? God, I hate that. Uh, would like me to say... Phonemes. Phonemes? I don't think that's right. Wow, I'm pretty sure that's super wrong, but anyway... Fuse goes in the fish. You don't tell me what to do. I decide. <laughs> Listens in consternation to the heated discussion about linguistics. Why are the fish talking about caps? <laughs> uh, could be submarining. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, Skipper, what are we dealing with here? This apparent enemy that uh, command is so desperate for somebody to intercept. She must have something aboard, something good, something tasty. All right, we got a UK vessel, tower variety. Uh, looks like to be, yeah, tower. Troop transport, apparently. Okay. That checks out. So we're uh, going to blow up a boat full of people is what we're after here. All right, merchant recognized. Length is 111 meters. 
Uh, draft is 8.63. 8.63. Okay. Let's get a velocity from our friend. What are we doing speed-wise? Let's kill the motors here, please. Velocity taking... Now. Sleep time for you. Thank hey, Samurai, thank you so very much for your for your generosity tonight. I, I really don't... I, I, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for that. Have yourself a good night, my guy. Chat pull for a dud torp. Oh, if only it was easier for me to open under other windows, but every time I do, my game like stutters and crashes and I gotta bring it up and uh, stream is really meant for people with either monster systems or an additional streaming PC, you know what I mean? Seven knots makes perfect sense to this fella. Um let's wait on course. Well I what do you say we eyeball course? You guys want to try to eyeball it? Hmm? A sodium gamble? That's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I like that. Or a dedicated mod. You're not wrong. Um, at the same time, I don't really expect my mods to like like do like work work per se. I'd much rather they enjoy what they're doing. You know, the odd thing like uh, like firing up a command for me or maybe banning a bot or two. I don't mind that idea, but I, I don't I don't want them to think that they're working. For me. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is something I think they're doing out of the goodness of their hearts. So, yeah. How many torpedoes do I have? Let's make sure there's more, I guess. All right. She's coming close to a 90 degree now. We're just looking at these spars right here. That'll give me the indication of her, uh, of her, of her angle on bow. That's the most dangerous vessel in the game. I believe it needs five fish and 500 HE rounds. No, it actually takes almost precisely six rounds to sink it. However, I do like me some torpedoes, and I'm going to be using them. All right, we're looking at approximately 90 degrees bow right currently. 90 degrees bow right, right there. Distance to target, and she's laying quite low in the water, by the way, so she's got quite a bit of board. And according to the report, what she has aboard is troops. So, I feel a little bad about this. I'm not gonna lie. Let's bring them up in the water a bit. Uh, let's lower dispersion down to roughly 30 meters. And we are gonna shoot our shot. Tube 2 away. Yes, I do have two screens. Yes, I can easily go and do something. The problem is... My main screen will go to desktop and the game will stutter and there's just all kinds of nonsense that happens. And it takes a minute for the for my computer to figure out where my mouse is, etc. It you know it is what it is. It's it's. <laughs> I'm I'm asking I'm asking more than the computer can give. Let's put it that way. But you know we we have an agreement. We're getting along, for the most part. When my camera works and stuff like that. All right, we've got the Anselm. What an odd name, Anselm. All right, two times T two streaking towards target. Please don't, please don't bug out on me now, game. Like, come on now. I feel bad. Anyway, let's lower dispersion. <laughs> Incoming torpedoes. Looks like we got a dud there. And a dud there. Two torpedoes with upgraded triggers. Upgraded triggers. Two duds. <laughs> yeah, I could run it windowed. I could, but I don't want to. Um, I refuse to have paid as much as I paid to build my computer. And run things in windowed mode. I, I just... Look, I'm aware it's a problem of my own making. I understand that. And, you know, maybe I, maybe I don't need to complain as much as I do. And I try not to. I do. I try not to. However, it's annoying. And I don't like it. So, it is what it is, right? Um, let's go speed four, actually. I want you to grab the deck gun. And we're going to sink this thing in six shots. All right? That's my plan. Pretty good plan, as plans go. It's not a bad plan, I don't think. 
All right, we're nice and okay. Game, don't glitch while I'm at time compression. God damn it. I'll plow into something and then we'll be dead and I'll be unhappy. Anyway. Okay, we're going to let her get out in front of us a little bit. Basically, I've watched you stalk, assess, prepare, and fire twice, and the end result is you knock twice in the hall. Essentially, essentially, is what we're getting at. Sorry about it, but it is what it is. My stream, my rules. I like it. Oh my god, can you imagine? Contrails. No. Definitely no contrails. You had me worried for a moment. I'm not going to lie. I was a little concerned all of a sudden. All right, she's going to start juking and jiving. I just want to bring my nose about a little bit. Uh, we're going to kill the motors here. Bring it back around this wise. I just want eyes on that box right there. See that box? That's the kill spot. Can you board an enemy vessel in order to, to evac? No, you can't board enemies, unfortunately. Um, Torp or plane that hit the transport. I can't remember if it was Torp or a plane either. All right. Are we ready? Dead in six. If the boat will ever settle, settle down a little bit, that'd be good. All right. Easy. Easy now, boat. Easy. Up. Here we go. One. Two. Can't see because I'm blind. Please pull the trigger. Please pull the trigger! Three. Sorry about the screaming, but God, that irritates me to no end. I think that missed because I can't see what I'm shooting at. Four. Five. I've lost the angle. I need to I need to adjust the angle. I need to adjust the angle. Not sure if it'll six will work now. Okay, ready? Six. Fire on board. Fire on board. See if she'll go down. I missed one because everything was just a gleaming spot, so. No problem at all there, Vimmy. Fire's already out. Okay, my bad. Seven. Eight. That should do it. Burning down. Burning down. Abandoned. Gone. All right. So technically, without that missing round, it would have been, um, what? Um, words. Think of words, Salted. Use your goddamn brain and think of words. Seven shots, maybe six. I think I messed up the, the parameters of it because I had to reposition the boat. But overall, eight shots vice the, like, 19 or so it used to take. Not complaining over much. Just having a little look-see here. Perhaps a uh, screenshot will bring itself to the foreground. Who knows? Who knows? One missed completely, one hit the side, and six... Yeah, I saw the one on the side. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I was kind of firing into just a giant yellow blur at that point, so... Still, it'll work. It'll work. Two lifeboats. What do we got? Normal people. We'll give them some food. Damn it, this is the different lifeboat. More no normal people. You know what? We'll take um, we'll take a couple of them. They're worth a little bit of cash. Unfortunately, they're human beings that I'm I'm selling, but it is what it is. It is what it is. This is war, after all. Um, let's give them some eggs. We've got lots. I wonder if I give them fourteen, will I get fourteen percent? I do get fourteen percent. Maybe I should start giving them sixty. Right? You essentially make almost an entire reputation point per lifeboat. That would be crazy. Okay. Uh, skipper, go about your duties, please. Um, mission complete. Here we go. Off the races, baby. Napster is still a thing? Holy crap. Wow, that's crazy. Jetstream says seven. Makes sense to me, my guy.
Makes sense to me. Back to breast. Going back to the breast, everybody. Just saying. Gotta get back to the breast. It's important. They survived the ship being sunk, only for you to give them raw eggs. You're not wrong. Oh my god, I didn't think about it. All right, Mr. Uh, Quezacoddle here. Uh, gets a war badge. Uh, so does Horst Thilio. I'm saying names wrong on purpose, by the way. As does, uh, wow, Adolf over here. Just saying. Um, and Cosmic. Good job, Cosmic. Great job, buddy. You get a badge, dude. It's awesome. Skipper gets a bunch of points because he's in charge, and that's how the military works. Okay, the assault of British shipping. We've continued the uh, the the trend of blowing stuff up. We sank the Donux. She was heading to, or sorry, from Dublin to Boston. Uh, Six thousand thirty-seven tons. Okay, technically that was the only one that counted. Uh, okay, so we sank the war class here, and it turns out the fishing vessels don't count towards your GRT because you you see there's no GRT associated with them. So, anyway, that was for science. The war crime was for science. Don't come at me in the comments. Don't come at me in the comments. Do not comment. Do not comment on the war crimes. I'm just saying. I'll be mad. Anyway, um, <laughs> only took five years of busting my butt in Juno to get a single ribbon as a departing award. Where's Juno? It's not a war crime the first time. Oh, dang. Okay. 10 million years in hell? 10 million? Bro, I think you should calm down a little bit. I don't know. 10 million years? God damn. Okay. Sell all the people. All the people are sold. Do, 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 do. Um, we got to reload these tubes. Your tubins need reloadings. That's German, by the way. It's not. That wasn't even close. But I attempted to... to. Okay, now he's not loading that tube. Alright, he just felt like he doesn't need to anymore. Um, that's fair, right? That's how we do. Dude is doing nothing. Very good. He's being a fantastic leader. Uh, staring in this direction. This is good. This is how we do. Just following orders. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That's, yeah. We, it's been determined that that's no longer a uh, valid excuse. I don't know if you missed that, but okay. Just saying. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter, I guess. All of this happened many long times ago. I'm just saying. Many long times ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. Not at this time. True Navy simulation. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You know what else is not a thing? Is us continuing to stream. I'm sorry. Nurm who? Oh, dear God. Um, oh, crap. Um, I plead the fifth. That's not actually a thing in my country, but I know a lot of Americans are out there, and I think you, you're going to get it. Hey, Bubba. Psst. The fuse is... Listen. Again, I tell you... The same thing I told you earlier. I decide where the fuses go. Okay? Me. I decide. Not... Kieran, no. What? Uh, they're polishing. They're scrubbing. It's Everything's fine. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Okay. Yes, V, I, uh, I, I, I agree. Uh, everybody should have a fantastic weekend once we get to it. Um... I do not, now that I'm thinking about it a little more clearly, I do not think my streaming schedule will be too overly affected next week. Um, I do have the week off, however, Monday and Wednesday streaming should be protected. I think, I think my timings should work out just very nicely. No fight in Canada? Holy crap, Shade. Calm down, my guy. Can you light the fuse, then launch the torp? No. No, the, if, if you set off the fuse, the torp explodes. That's, oh God. What is understood does not need to be discussed. Agreed. Stream it. Oh, don't I wish. I might be able to get some additional streaming done, but it'd be much earlier in the day. Much, much, much earlier in the day. So, 
Ignore the opportunity for smutty innuendos. I like it. I like it. I think that's great. I think it's great, personally. Why am I staring at this? Oh, I'm a person. Help. Okay. Um, yeah. I just became a person really quickly. I don't know if you guys caught that, but yeah. <clears throat> Water would put it out. No. No. Explosive trains tend to not stop. They don't, they don't enjoy stopping. They're really big on on going they're super just all about it early you're not wrong kj i would love to be able to engage uh with my european people a little bit have fun on vacation i hope so oh my god it feels like forever i mean it's only been since christmas night since i had vacation but still um january took about four months and february took about four months and i'm pretty sure it's been march for a month and a half even though today's the sixth so, Casey Jones, who? Casey Jones from Ninja Turtles? What? Um, yes, Bubba, you take it easy, my guy. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Your fam comes first, but that's the plan, KJ. I'm gonna gonna get together with the fam. The fam jam. Gonna gonna light it up. Or possibly sit about. Either way, something will happen with the fam jam. That's gonna happen. All right, folks, listen. I had a hell of a time tonight. I did. I enjoyed myself. I think we, uh, you know what? It's been a long time since we had a, a long, drawn-out conversation here on stream. It tends not to happen as often as I'd like. Um, that's probably partially my fault. I, I, I tend to try to try to keep the action moving for you folks. I, I don't want to bore you, right? True. You use the trendy word. Uh-huh. 100% CV. You got to learn. You got you to change, man. You got to change, man. We just talked about this. We just had a long conversation about it. I'm just saying. You must adapt, my guy. Fight all you want, but adapt anyway. Learn the lingo of your enemies, and then perhaps you, you can defeat them or something. I don't know. Some, something about enemies. Enemies. Anemones. Whatever. No, thank you, Wolfgang. Thank Wolfgang, sorry. Oh, my God. That was terrible. Thanks for uh, putting up with my rambling. I appreciate it. Much pleasure. Uh, still young and with it, Daddy-O. Hell yeah, my guy. Rock on, you crazy diamond. Rock and roll. Don't give it. Give in. Give in to the dark side. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. No, I understand that. Tonight, this is a thing. <laughs> The military gifted me with tinnitus uh, quite a quite quite a few many years ago now. Tis what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Anyway, like I was saying, yeah, I had fun. It was nice to have a conversation. Honestly, um, I find that a lot of my time I'm I'm spending just desperately trying to keep you entertained. And maybe in a way I, I gotta I gotta learn to slow down a little bit, right? Like. I often feel panicked to keep the action going, right? 100% there, photos. 100% my guy. Actung, we will not speak German. No, that ship has sailed, my dude. I'm pretty sure, uh, pretty sure that didn't work out. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, didn't take. Didn't take, my guy. Just saying. Um, yeah, maybe I should take a little more time here and there and uh, get the combos going. Like I think that might be important. Might be good for growth. Like as people, you know what I mean? Not like uh, like boosting the channel or whatever, because obviously the more action, the better for the channel. <coughs> but anyway, I digress. I think, it, I think it was good. I had fun. Long story short, okay, look, I'm going to level with you. I'm going to level you some. This is the point of the stream where I start to panic. I start to panic here and now. I don't understand how to say goodbye. I've studied it. I've watched the end of so many streamer streams and tried to 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 tried to emulate that that nonchalant like hey it's been real check you in the next one derp 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 you know what i mean like i just i don't know i just i just sort of panic cuz now it's just me like i don't have gameplay to to lean on i don't have explosions and torpedoes and... yeah you know what retired you're right just say good night you just say goodnight, Salted. What are you doing? Listen, folks, it's been a slice. Until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in.
<risa> bueno, 